right now at five months ago, she was dropped off at an Orange County fire station. Today, that precious little girl is still touching the hearts of firefighters who saved her. Welcome back to CBS 2 News at 5, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon in for Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. That little girl has since been adopted, and today, her new mother brought the child back to that safe haven for a reunion. CBS 2 Orange County reporter Michelle Geely was there. This is so unique and rare. It's something I never really thought that I would do. When Santa Ana Fire Captain Paramedic Daryl Melliott first put six pound Naomi in his arms, she was just a few hours old. It was the first and only safe surrender at an Orange County fire station this year. Officials tell me the anonymous birth mother who rang the doorbell at the fire station back in March was in her 20s. When she physically went to give Naomi to me, there was a moment where she had a difficult time doing it. She uh, she balked a couple of times and just wanted a few more moments to hold her. Nearly nine months have passed, and the Orange County Fire Authority crew who kept Naomi safe that night are still a part of her life. They attended the baby's adoption ceremony in November. I tell everybody that asked me about it that it's one of the highlights of my career by far. I mean, going to that ceremony and and. Uh, Getting to see her again because, you know, when you when it happens, you don't know what's going to happen to the baby, really. Orange County foster parents Kristen and Kurt Snyder had always planned to adopt rather than have their own children. Not only do they now have seven-month-old Naomi, but one-year-old Judah as well. Mom says Naomi's story will not be hidden from her. It really is a great opportunity for us to tell her about her mom and what a courageous thing she did. Oh, I remember with my badge. In Santa Ana, Michelle Geely, CBS 2 News.